Hello and welcome, I'm Liam the user of your uh, hay fever is slowly killing me this summer and today we're going to be talking about the new Serpent With Feet album Coil should be a quick review F famous <laughs> last words famous last words but uh, Serpent With Feet is an alternative R&B pop project often has avant-garde uh, thrown at him um, real name Josiah Wise I want to say I've, I've probably butchered that it probably isn't anything like that um, but I had little to no experience or knowledge of Serpent With Feet up until maybe a week ago with um, Album of the Year and uh, the instrumental Eisenmar Discord having a little chat about this album coming out. Um, I knew I wanted to talk about Snail Mail and I didn't really have much in the ways of a plan for what to talk about on Wednesday. And with so many publications and users saying how, oh, he's got one of the best voices in music right now, um, how there's these often off, uh, there's these obvious reference points like Frank Ocean, Perfume Genius, um, had a EP in 2016 called Blisters, um, just all of that had me a little bit kind of interested in like taking a plunge and seeing what I could get out of this album, this could be like a surprise record that previously I would have just, it would went right under my radar and I wouldn't have found out about it probably until next year when it's far too late to give it the attention that it needs and yeah I'm very very happy that I bothered to just give it a go and see whether or not I liked it or not. The vocals are without a doubt the thing that draw you into this album. Serpent with Feet's vocals are, they absolutely deserve the praise that they get. Um, you just need to go for a song like Cherubim, I think that's how you say it anyway, um, <laughs> where just there's this like lovely vibrato that's implemented. The uh, Josiah's vocals are just as sweet as the honey that he references. It's, it's very hard not to find yourself being utterly captivated and mem is mesmerised with, with how he says it. Um, not to mention that what he's talking about, but we'll get into that later on. But really, these these pipes of his are, without a doubt, some of the best you'll hear in music at the moment. Then you get something like Morning Song, which just, oh, you can definitely feel the fear and the grief and just like the negative emotions that Josiah is going through here, just like his voice is like quivering with fear, it's just these, like I say, mesmerising vocal harmonies, which just, again, just it's hard not to find yourself submerged in their beauty and just how natural they feel. Um, as, as far as I know, Josiah was a choir boy when he was younger and has he's very classically trained, which you, you'd be able to tell as soon as you listen to this album, but this leads naturally into the production here. And while I say the vocals are the main draw of this album, the production does need to be mentioned as well as praised. Um, because I won't be the first to say this, how the vocals and the production are just it's such a natural, really nicely put contrast. Um, because yes, Josiah is classically trained, but the production on here is like gospel electronica. It's not leaps and bounds away from what you would maybe expect, uh, considering like when you think of like current like gospel trends, you think Chance the Rapper and Kanye. Um, this is definitely different. It's very much more in the Coco Sugar realm as it is to the life of Pablo realm. But it does provide some just great moments on this, and a lot of the highlights do come from when uh, Josiah's vocals and his production just clash together in a really beautiful way. Think of something like. Think of something like Invoice, where you just have this like unsettling drum heartbeat thing going on here, and it's like a whip sound effect that just gives gives the chorus its real core, um, and obviously just the kind of the hardships that Josiah faces and talks about on here just go together just great. Um, and if we're talking about highlights here, my favourite song, if I had to choose one, would have to be Waft, a song that I'm so surprised that um, Arca um, wasn't behind on production duties because oh, this just drips eeriness and unsettling vibes and 
j- just that kind of thing that he done so expertly um, on his last album. Um, so I was very surprised that he didn't have anything to do with that on here. But oh my god, how this like mixes into Josiah's singing when he's going on about this this man that um, he's had history with that just has been disingenuous, which has just been he's been like fake um, and trying to like uh, the romantic interpretation anyways is trying to like cover himself up, cover up the true version of himself, and it just feels like a trap springing in real time, just all the little like whirring that's going on just as if the cogs in Josiah's brain are just like turning how he wants to like it doesn't even feel like a revenge track but like just one that's fueled by spite um, and if it feels like it's going over the top or that if, like I say like the character in question doesn't feel disingenuous all of it is just a, a, a wonderful blend like no bit of it feels like a bit of it's too heavy just meshes together extremely well and also the climax was just like this metallic clanging again it's not overbearing but it just goes to add to just how unsettling this atmosphere that Serpent with Feet creates in these like small tight little soundscapes. Authentic just seems to be the word that I would say describe Serpent with Feet the best here. Um, he is very open, he does expose himself quite a fair bit here which I think gives this album quite an emotional core. Um, I think he can be like passive aggressive like he can definitely show hurt or shock or sadness but not in a way where they're so different that they're almost like different personalities it all seems to be just like this one Josiah this one person that's able to react to these situations in a very organic way and that's kind of like what I think really why this album really got to me even if the last um, track Bless Your Heart is quite conventional it has like a dollop of sincerity love and care to it it's very hard I would I would be very surprised if somebody was able to find this album uh, boring or dull or any sort of those words because I don't think that Desire really leaves any sort of um, void at all I don't think he ever like leaves much room for people to interpret him as being soulless or emotionless. I do think that he's been just very genuine and been very heartfelt. Um, like I say, there's a point on this album, like the last one, where it feels too conventional, where yeah, maybe it could have done with a bit more, maybe it could have been just left out um, entirely, but that's really all in the way I've got to say about criticisms here. Um, it's not really an album where I think that um, Serpent With Feet has unimpressed me or has like left me feeling like he's got more potential in him. I feel like he's really shown himself like right out the gate on his debut album. I'm so happy that I got around to listening to this album because yeah, just having a singer that manages to deliver and encapsulate and just managed to mature his feelings to the point where yeah, something is a bit abstract but to the betterment of these songs where the production doesn't feel like it's an afterthought or that it's just being kind of left to the wayside. It's had just as much thought and care put into it. And just when they both come together, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful mesh. You're going to find um, this album compared to Frank Ocean, to Perfume Genius um, and whatnot, even if I think, yeah, it does fit more into the Young Fowler's universe here. But I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this to anybody. Um, because yeah I did not think much of it coming into it because I didn't really know much about the artist in question but I I do not regret coming around to it it is going to be one of these albums that I hope to see in a lot of album the year lists I know that will surely be on mine um, in terms of a rating I'm feeling a solid a strong 8 on this let me know if you guys have listened to it Um, links to buy and stream will be down in the bio along with my own social media links Um, Yeah, just let me know your favourite songs, your least favourite songs, and I'll speak to you guys very soon. As always, stay safe and stay hydrated. (laughs) 